I've used the ePortfolio to log things I've done in the college and put pictures of some of the stuff I've done, like in brickwork and plumbing. To show the things that I've done in class, or uploaded photos, kept like a diary of all the stuff I've done in class, all the practical work. I've used the ePortfolio to gather evidence of the work I've done, possibly to show prospective employers. Nothing really. I've not put it into practice. Uh, writing CVs and stone pictures of what we've done in practical classes. The online learning and different websites relating to employability skills. Then the courses for that on that ready for work website. We've used our e portfolios for our learning styles and our SWOT analysis. Used the e portfolio for employers to view my CV on. I used it to show some photos of what I've done in the college. If it's done by a digital camera, you can just uh, download images straight onto the ePortfolio instead of having to print them off and get them the right size and everything. It's an advantage having an ePortfolio because you can just stick it straight onto a job letter instead of sending out a CV and lots of other pieces of paper. Also, the CV will go out of date just as soon as you post it. With ePortfolio, you can keep updating after you've sent the letter away. Good thing about the ePortfolio, it's you can put as much on as you want. There's no real limit on what you can put on it. Personally, I don't think there's any bad points. But the bad thing is um, when you're posting it onto the actual thing, it takes a while for it to load up if it's a big amount of memory, so it does take a wee while. I just prefer going in with a CV and having an interview like that because I never really had an interest in the ePortfolio and thought it was quite difficult to get started on it. I would encourage them to get an ePortfolio because it's handy. I'd encourage someone to do an ePortfolio if they haven't already got one because it's good for a lot of things. It's good just to evaluate yourself and to show employers good reason to have the ePortfolio for somebody who's not used it before is they can log stuff down and it keeps stuff up to date and you can't lose it if you're just doing it on a piece of paper and you can back it up and just edit it anytime you want. I think it's improved my employability skills because it's showing me where I have to improve and what I, I'm pretty strong at. I've learnt a lot during the employability skills course and I never knew there was so much in employability skills apart from that it was health and safety. I never knew there was learning styles or anything along them lines. I think the portfolio tells the employer a lot more about ourselves than what a CV would it. I think it shows an employer in made because all the other boys at the job said were handing over CVs and that didn't say much about them. Uh, it can help you get a job because you can send the employers your e-portfolio and then they can look at it before you can for the job and they can see what it's like. I think it's helpful to employers because it gives them a view of what you've been doing. It lets them know what kind of things that you enjoy doing and you can give like photos of what you have done to show them how good you are at it. About 7 out of 10 it the uh, ePortfolio about the 7 as well because keep changing stuff gets a bit boring. I would rate the the ePortfolio 10 out of 10. On a scale of 1 to 10 I would probably say 8. Well, I'll give it a 3. I've gave it something just because it could work for other people but just it's not for everyone. 8 out of 10 because it's useful in some Places. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd rate the ePortfolio about 7 because it can get a bit boring constantly updating and things like that. And I feel that I've become more confident myself because um, at the start of the course we were a bit nervous, we didn't talk to each other, we never just can joke around and have a laugh. I mean, like I'd say it's made the group more confident.